Seller Central Requirements In this lesson you will learn what Seller Central is and all the information you need to be able to get your account set up and why this differs depending on what country you live in. Seller Central is an online dashboard that controls every aspect of your business on Amazon. Each marketplace has its own dashboard and it allows complete control from just one location. So this does include your product listing, inventory, promotions, Amazon advertising and a whole range of important reports. The different types of accounts. So you have two choices when setting up your Seller Central account. Individual, this is a starter account for those selling low numbers of products and is charged per item. Professional, this is for sellers selling higher volumes of products and has a monthly charge of $39.99. Now it's worth noting, individual is just a name they give the account. It doesn't mean you choose that account if you haven't got a business. So which account to start with? Professional account is $39.99 per month and the individual account is free. You pay per sale. You can actually start with either, but it's worth noting you will eventually need the professional account. However, if money is a problem right now, then by all means go ahead and set up the individual account for now. And that's the example I'm going to be showing you. However, it is virtually identical. There is very little difference between setting up either account. So you can start with either. It is worth noting that if you start with an individual account, when you upgrade to professional, you might get an account review. Now, while this is nothing to worry about, it does mean you might have restricted access for a few days. And as long as you've followed all the instructions we give you over the next two lessons, you won't have any issues. And lastly, you do not have to set your account up immediately. You can always move on, start working through selecting your products, finding your products, contacting your suppliers, but you will eventually need this account set up before you order any inventory from your suppliers. My personal recommendation is to go ahead and get it set up sooner rather than later. So what do you need? The first thing you need is an email address and preferably a unique address just for your Seller Central account. Then your name and either your name or your business name. The address again is either your address or your business address if you've set one up. Now the deposit method. This is Amazon's name for a bank account essentially where you can receive your payments. Lastly the charge method. This is a credit or debit card used to pay for your monthly subscription and your advertising costs. Now it's worth noting once you get started, the monthly charge will actually come out of your sales. So business or personal? Well, in the welcome module, you learned about the optimum setup for your business. However, when setting up your Seller Central account, you can just use your personal details to begin with. All the details inside your Seller Central account can be changed at any time you like. So if you start with your personal name, you can always come back later once you set up your business and change it to your business name. Now, if you use your business details, you will need an EIN number if your business is US registered. So where you live. Where you live does have an impact on what you will need to get your account set up. And this is different from what we talked about previously about choosing which marketplace you want to sell on. And it's related to Amazon's deposit method, as they will only deposit money into banks in certain countries. For countries not on that list, in other words, ones they won't deposit money directly into a bank, you can use a third party service, but not all countries, unfortunately. And we'll cover that in a couple of minutes. Essentially, there are three groups of countries. And make sure you download the file underneath this video that has a list of all the countries that are in these three groups. So group one, this covers any country that Amazon will pay directly into a bank account in that country. For the most part, it's the US and Canada, most of the countries in the Eurozone, and a few extra ones. Again, it's all in the download below this video. Now, this is the easiest by far, as you can use all your own information. This includes your bank information, your credit card, your address, etc. Basically everything, because Amazon will send the money direct to your local bank account. There is no additional information or services you need. Group two. This covers any country that Amazon will not pay directly into a bank account in that country, but will allow a third party service. 
So if your country is in this group, you will need to apply for a third party service to receive your payments. And we'll cover that later in this lesson and also in the next lesson. Apart from your bank account, you can use all of your other local information. Group two requirement. So as we just mentioned, if your country is in group two, you need a third party service to be able to receive your Amazon payments. The one we highly recommend is World First. We have built up an amazing relationship with them over the last four years that we've been recommending them. They will literally bend over backwards to help our members. In the next lesson, we will walk you through getting your account set up. So group three, this covers any country that Amazon will not pay directly into a bank account in that country or allow using a third party service. Now, if your country is not in the download list PDF below this lesson, you will not be able to set up your seller central account the normal way. You will need to open a bank account in one of the countries from group one or use a family, friend or relative to open an account for you. International banks. Now, if you're in group three, one other method is to contact any local international banks. You need to ask them if they can set up a US based account. It's very important you use that exact terminology. A US currency account is not enough. In other words, a US dollar account. It must be a US based account. Now, if you are unable to do this, you will need a friend or family member to help you out and set up an account for you in one of the group one countries. So what's next? So now you've learned what you need to set up your seller central account and how it depends on where you live, especially regarding the deposit method. In the next lesson, you will learn how to set up your world first account if you need it. In other words, if you're in group two, if you're in group one, you can simply skip the next lesson and go straight on to the lesson about setting up your account. So your action step, get all the information covered in this lesson ready in a document so you are ready to set up your seller central account. That's it for this lesson. Take care.